All right, all right. I'm Courtney. This is Power Strength. About 50 minutes for this class. From start to finish with the warm up and a cool down, you need a set of weights, a mat, definitely some water to hydrate, and you need your energy. All right, it's okay if you don't have energy yet. We'll warm up and we'll all feel better, more energetic. We're gonna light it up. Here we go, let's twist it out. Let's warm it up. Here we go. And reach that arm across. Just back to regular twist. Four regular, four reach your arm across. This class is certainly gonna be an adventure for me because I know everybody is so sick of hearing about the marathon, but one last little blip on the marathon is that for me, I just finished it two days ago, and I am definitely feeling very sore. So we'll see what I can do today. Doesn't matter though, you're gonna be working at your peak level today. You're gonna be killing it. Let's go swing it down and lift up to your toes. Swing it down. Push that booty back and up to your toes. Activating your calves, your quads. Good. Reach those arms nice and high. 22 seconds to go. is already coming up for me. 10 more seconds, we are heading into a lateral lunge to the right, to a knee lift. In four, three, two, lunge it right. Lift that knee. Just a little balance challenge. Arm comes up, reaches up. Good. Way to be here today. That is the first step. What other goals do we have for today? 20 seconds. Woo. Going into a hamstring sleep to a reverse lunge in 10. We got four, three, two, Alternating sides, sweep it up front, lunge it back. <laughs> Testing out those legs here. I have to say, doing a lot better than I was 24 hours ago when I couldn't even walk across the room. Let's do it. Heading into the left side after this, side lunge to knee lift. Looking strong, everybody. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Lunge it left. Lunge it left. Lift that knee. There you go. Push that booty back. Try to touch the floor. Good, Mickey. Oh. So as always, after our warm-up, we have five exercises of strength, one minute each, followed by two 45-second cardio bursts right in a row with no break. 15 seconds. Heading to the floor after this, inchworming out to a lunge twist. Six. Three, two, one. Inchworm those hands out. Bring one leg forward, twist it. Inchworm back, switching sides. There you go, Zach. Working at Kirby, warming up that back. Getting those shoulders involved. Trying to tighten up your core. 10 seconds. Going into a down dog. Coming forward to plank. Push up two, one. 
Push it back. Down dog. Bring it forward. Push up. Drop the kick. Down dog. Kick one leg up. Come forward. One push up. Back to down dog. Kick the other leg up. Now we got the rhythm. How are we doing so far? We're pumping that blood through our bodies. Ten seconds. Our air conditioning is currently not working in the house, so we'll see how we fare with that. Walk ups, let's go, let's go. Walk up. Whoa. With the knee lift. Alternating sides. I'm gonna be laughing at myself through this whole workout. If this is your first workout with me, just know that it looks a little stronger typically. <laughs> 20 seconds. It's a comedy show today. We are picking it up a little bit. Coming up here with some jacks. Reaching up, elbows out. In three, two, one. Let's go, jack it. Reach up, push those elbows out. There you go, Kirby. Let's move a little, shall we? Looking strong, Donna. 22. I just love the fact that it's light out right now at 6.10 in the morning. 10 seconds. Really lifts my spirits. Four, three, two twists, two knee hops. Twist side, two knee hops. You can do this low impact. Oh. Or with the hop. Good. Last exercise of our warm up right here. Oh. 20 seconds. Do what you need to do right now to get yourself warmed up. Ready to go, ready to work it. Starting a little bit easy today with our workout. Three, two, rest. Whew, how do we do? We're ready. Are we ready? Or are you feeling like, whoo, I already did the workout. 30 seconds, grab water, walk around. Make sure you have your weights. Maybe different sizes of weights. One weight to start. All we're gonna do is hold the weight behind us and pushing up with it. Getting our triceps, our reverse deltoids. We go in 10. Pick up that weight. Let's get started. Here we go, four, three, two. Push it back, push it back. Like I said, starting kind of easy for us with this simple push back. <laughs> Making sure you're standing tall. We're not, we're not scrunching our shoulders up or anything like that. Shoulders are down, just pushing back. It's okay, it's just a tiny movement. You don't have to make it big. Right, Steve? 25 seconds to go. You should start to feel the burn a little bit here. Whew. Way to go. Keep pushing, 12 seconds. You got this all the way. Four, three, two, one. Pick up that other weight. Two rows. We set the weights down, two rows. We set them down, two chair pulses. We pick them up. If you don't wanna be setting your weights down and up, 
Just stick with the rows. Two, one, let's go. When you set your weights down, you want to keep that back flat. We don't want to be rounding. So if you're not quite in the ability to pick up and lower your weights with a flat back, just keep them and just stick with those rows. You can always do two rows with like a little squat or something, All right? Twenty-five seconds right here. Heading to the floor after this. Back to triceps. You got this, Michelle. Eight. Five. Three. Two. Rest. Set both weights down. Next exercise, no weights. You are on your left side with your right arm working. So right hand is on the floor, left hand is come through and you're just pushing up and down. Here we go. Working that tricep. Making sure your hand is just below your shoulder that you're actually getting leverage able to push up a lot of people, sometimes I see their hands way out here and they can't get any push. Put it right here to get a little more range of motion. After just maybe five or six, it should be challenging. I know some people a lot of times feel their uh, hip bone hurting on this one a little bit. So just know next time or when we do the other side, you can put like an extra towel underneath if it's too much on your hip. 10 seconds, maybe you have bony hips. <laughs> Five, three, two, good, rest. Grabbing one weight onto, into your right hand. You can do this on your knees with a row, or I would prefer you try it on your toes, row up, lift overhead, and down. Here we go, we're on. Option, remember, to come onto your knees and just do rows focusing on your back. That's it. So as you row up, you swivel your feet, you twist your hips to the side, and then press that weight overhead. Being extra careful that we don't hurt our shoulder, making sure you do that swivel. Way to go. I was gonna pulse these, but we're going to stay here for the whole minute and we're gonna practice our perfect form, right? Right, team? 17 seconds to go here. All the way, Maya. Six. Three, two, one. Rest it. How are we doing so far? All right, we got that other side, tricep push-up. After that, cardio. So on your right side, remember to put something under your hip if it bothers you. Left arm, we are working. Two, one, let's push it. Go for it. I love the fact with this top that I don't have to worry about anything crazy happening on this exercise. This top is super supportive. One of my favorites ever by first form. <sighs> Come on, keep pushing. 30 seconds to go. How's that tricep doing? Better than the other side or worse? We all have a weaker side, right? Both sides are weak, yes. <laughs> no, both sides are super strong. 10 seconds. You're so fierce. Four, three, two, one, rest. Stand it on up for cardio. First cardio. We are coming up onto one leg and running it back. 
One leg jumping up, running it back. Two, one, let's go. Come on, you can jump, you can make it a lot more powerful than me. If you're low impact, kind of like me, just go ahead and do a big step forward with a run back or a little shuffle back. There you go, good. I'm a little fragile today. 20 seconds, let's see what's next. We are going right into the next cardio. Fast feet, four, three, two, one, to squat touch. 10 seconds, go, go, go. Come on, Vicky. Three, two, fast feet, four, three, two, one, touch. Four, three, two, one, touch. Go, go, go. Move those feet, quick, quick, quick. It's like the ground is hot lava. 30 seconds. Come on, keep pushing that heart rate. 22 seconds to go. You got this. All the way, Claudia. Let's go, go, Marine. Eight. Come on, Renata. Three, two, rest. How do we do? You're rocking it. So good. All right, grab water. We are down with one weight, other side. Woo. All right, row with oblique twist, left side. Do you remember it? Option on your knees, rows, or on your feet. Three, two, we're on, let's go. Remember, we're twisting, we're swiveling our feet so that we don't hurt our knees. Twisting our hips to the side, pressing that weight straight overhead. If you're doing the form correctly, you shouldn't feel any pain in your shoulder other than a slight burning because you're working it. Burning is okay, pain is not. 25. Oops. You're doing amazing so far. Keep up the hard work. Ten. Come on. Couple more. Four. Three. Two. One. Boom. Come on up to your feet. Bring both weights with you. We have. Legs a little wider than hip distance, toes are facing out. A goblin squat coming all the way down, tucking your booty, coming up, overhead press. Let's go. All the way down. If you can't come all the way down, just do a regular squat. Watch from the side, all the way down, tucking that booty, going straight up and pressing. That's it. Way to work those legs, Gail. Thirty seconds here. Take your time. Get all the way down. Let's go. You're crushing it. Twelve. Seven, three, two, one, boom. Just our arms, whoo, feel my arms already. Two bicep curls, just standing nice and tall, holding halfway, two serves. In four, three, shake it out, two, one, two and two, let's go. Looking like a winner. Elbows stay in on those serves. That's it. You are extra strong. You've got this. 
Work those biceps. 30 seconds. Come on. If it's not burning, you need heavier weights next time. You got 10 seconds to go. Go for it, Marietta. Four, three, two, rest. Put one weight down into your left hand. Your right leg is gonna be moving, coming into that side lunge, and then forward lunge. <laughs> two, one, let's go. Good. So on that forward lunge, pressing the weight up, bringing it down to the floor on that side lunge. That's it. Now we can stay here or you can come with me in eight seconds. I'm gonna try it. And I'll jump out to that lunge. Two, one. So side lunge here and then jump into that forward lunge. There you go. Give it a try with me. It's okay if you got shaky legs, so do I. 15. Oh. 10. Oh. Five. Three. Two. One. Boom. Way to go. Pick up both weights. We are into a deep squat here. Elbows digging into your thighs. Two hammer curls. Weights on the floor, jump out. One push up. Back to center. Here we go, we're on. Option here, you can stand up and do the hammer curls and then come down to the push up. Looks like this. Standing up is fine. And then you can drop down, walk out to a push up. We got our options. Let's work it. Come on, Mafa. Do it, Sylvia. On those camera curls, make sure your chest is up, your shoulders are down and back. You're not rounding your back in any way. Your back is flat. You know it. 15 to go. Cardio coming up after this. We're not already doing cardio. Two, one. Yes, drop it. Weights off to the side so you don't trip over them. We have first exercise. Scissor, scissor, turn and touch. Scissor, scissor, touch. In three, two, let's go, we're on. When you turn and touch, try to get low. Try to get all the way to the floor. Maybe you can even get your whole hand to the floor. Right, Devorah? Twenty-three seconds to go. We are on the floor after this. Actually, we're up and down. Four mountain climbers standing up, two jacks, up and down. You can just stay up and do jacks if you want. In four, three, two, down on the floor. Mountain climbers, stand up, two jacks, down. Oh. You got it, Mickey. 30 seconds with me. Let's finish up this cardio set. Strong. 20. Way to go, Kim. Come on, Dale. Eight seconds. Last push, Joel. Three, two, rest. Ah. How do we do? You killed that last cardio. 
so much energy, so much power. You know what it takes, 15 seconds. All right, one weight into your right hand. We've got that other leg, side lunge, forward lunge. Here we go, we're on. All ready? Yep. <laughs> Not much rest for us. If you're still breathing hard, that's good. That means you worked that last cardio. Super tough. All right, Amira. Five seconds if you want to jump with me. Let's see if I can do it. Here we go, side lunge. Jump into that forward lunge. <laughs> Give it a try. Let's hustle for it. 15 to go. We get to rest the legs right after this. So make it strong. Come on, Nina. Four, three, two, one. Boom. Pick up that other weight. Just standing, catching our breath. Hammer curls, running hammer curls. Five, three, ready? Work those biceps, baby. Here we go. You got it. Are we sweating yet? That cardio will do it. I mean, all strength workouts are great and necessary sometimes, but to add in these cardio bursts, in between. That's what's really going to increase your fitness, keep your body burning, keep those muscles fired up. 17 seconds to go. You can always do both hands at once if you need more. Oh, we got some fun push-ups coming up. In five, three, Two, rest it. Okay, so we are, no weights for the next couple exercises. We are heading, twisting two toward the right, meaning your left arm is you up, right and you're I twisting toward the right, you're coming into a push-up, tucking that knee under. Here we go, we're on. Try it with me. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. It's not that bad, you can do this. Unless you have a horrible shoulder, but even so, you're not really supposed to be twisting your shoulder too much. We're just staying on one side. You know what that means, right? We gotta do two rounds of these. So you just twist that knee under slightly so you don't bang it on the floor, that's all. There you go. You got it, Nancy. 18 seconds to go. Way to work that chest. Working so much out of our body by bringing it around. Three, two, rest, yes. Awesome. On your back, on your back. Let's work those inner thighs. Legs are straight up, heels together, toes are out. Just pulsing here. Just pulsing. Here we go. We're on. Legs straight up. If possible, knees are straight. It's okay. If they're a little bent and you can't straighten them, it's okay. Just pulse. All right, everybody, bring those legs halfway out. Keep pulsing. That's it. You got it. Bring those legs all the way out as far as you can. Keep pulsing, though. Really feeling those inner thighs working. Also our hip flexors and our lower abs. You got it. Bring those legs halfway in, halfway in. 18 seconds to go. Keep it here. All right, last 10 seconds. Bring those legs all the way in. Keep pulsing though. You've got this. 
Come on, push all the way. Four, three, two, one. Yes. Woo. Way to go on your right side. High plank. We are threading through. Two, two hip pulses. Two, one, let's go. Threading it through, hip pulses. Now, modification, you can drop one knee and thread it through. Give it a try. Just don't worry about the hip pulses, just keep threading if you've dropped one knee. Nice. I mean, just holding yourself up like this is quite a challenge, right? Making sure your wrist is in line with your shoulder. In 10 seconds, we will pulse the hips only. If you've got one knee drop, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. Three, two, pulse those hips if you're up. Pulse them up. Come on, work in those obliques. Let's go, let's go. You've got this 10 seconds to go, come on. Stay up with me, keep pulsing. Three, two, one, ah, rest. Come on up for cardio. Way to do it, shake out that hand. Amazing. All right, first exercise, kick taps. You can do it with a hop or without. Okay, two, one, let's go. Kick taps. With that hop if you want. <laughs> I'm gonna do my low impact. Just keep moving. 30 seconds here. Next up, going straight into high knees to ankle taps. Let's go. Come on, snap that kick. 15 seconds. Go Carmen. You got a Marjorie. Eight. Three. High knees coming up. Two. One. Let's go. High knees. Ankle taps. <laughs> Low impact version like me, if you want. Good, Zach. Make sure you reach down and get those ankles. 25 to go. Good, Joanne. Keep moving, keep moving. 10 seconds. Try this again. Nope. Nope, nope. Four, three, two. Rest, oh my gosh. Way to go, you guys. This leg here is like bummed out. All right, if you did all that cardio, you're incredible. That last one, the high knees to ankle touches, is one of my hardest, I feel so tough. Grab water, 10 seconds. Twist push-ups toward the left, right hand is up. Two, one, right hand up toward the left, let's go. Way to work it. Work in that upper body. You are strong. You can do this. We're perfecting this exercise now on this side, right? 30 seconds to go. How many more can you get in? Nobody's saying none, right? <laughs> 20, let's go. Way to go, Joaquin. 10 seconds, push. Last chance for these. Five, get one more in. Three, two, one. Rest it, woo! All right, other side. Threading it. Remember, option to have your knee down if you'd like, or all the way up and over. Here we go in four, three, two. Let's go. Thread it. Takes a lot of balance. You can do this. If you want to come up, but 
you find it to be a little too tricky, you can always spread your legs open to get a little bit more support of the balance. Challenge, more challenging to stack your feet. And when you lose your balance, or if you do, don't worry about it. We all do. Seven seconds till we pull those hips. Four. Two. Pull those hips. Pull some. Let's go, let's go. You're a superstar. You've got this. All the way. Ten seconds. Go. Go. Five. Three. Two. Rest it. Oh, that was tough, yeah? Woo! Way to go. Come on up to standing. Bring your weights with you. We have one deadlift. Lifting your right leg up if you can, or keeping both feet on the ground. Bringing that leg through, and we're on to a little bit of a squat. Here we go. We should be nice and warmed up for this. Now, a lot of you can go a lot lower than me on that squat. Go for it if you can. Don't let me stop you. <sighs> On the deadlift, shoulders are back. Back is flat. <sighs> Lots of balance. Lots of stabilizing muscles here. 19 seconds. In that hamstring on the deadlift. You should feel a little bit of a pull on the back of your leg as you come down. Five. Two. One. Rest it. Ooh! It burns. It burns. All right. Ah, on our back, on our back. Swimmers, working those inner thighs again. Two. One, here we go, legs come in and out. Swimming, flexing your feet on the way out, pointing your toes on the way in. Do your best to try to keep your legs straight, to keep your feet up and over, stacked over your hips, perfectly straight up. That's it. Way to work it, Kirby. Thirty seconds to go. Keep swimming. We are getting close, everybody. We only have one more cardio set. A few more strength exercises, and we stretch. Eight, five, three, two. Rest it, Woo. rolling it halfway up. We are heading into a dead bug, right side only. Knees coming in, I want you to resist against your knees and then just bring that right leg and right hand over. Here we go, we're on. Resist and then reach. Option here, you can keep your head on the ground. You can also Reach and touch your toe to the ground as an option. Or just touch your toe to the ground. Lots of modification options here. That's why we do these classes, right? To learn our modifications, to get tips, and also to get motivated. 25 seconds to go. Speaking of, I am working on us joining live for whoever wants to join live for the recording of this class so that we can really feel like we're in a live class together. Seven seconds. More info on that to come. Three, two, one, rest. Yes. All right. Are we on cardio? We are on cardio. Let's stand it up. Knee pops. Right knee only. Front and side. You can add that hop if you want. Two, one, or you can stay low, in fact, like me. <laughs> pop it, pop it, pop it, front and side, and front and side. My knee isn't letting me pop. 
front and side, front and side. Keep going, pop, 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 pop. That's it, that's it, that's it. Pop, pop, knee, up, side, up, side, up, side. Lots of power. Up and side, up and side. 20 seconds to go. So your knee should be about 10 times higher than mine. You can do it with the hop. It really works your calf if you do it with the hop. 10 seconds, all we're going to do is switch sides, that's it. Five, three, two, switch sides, let's go. Other side, much better on this side. This side I can do. There we go, hop, 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 hop. Come on. Yes, you can. Just 30 more seconds of cardio. Right, Kirsten? We got it. Hop. Come on, Roswin. All the way. Get that heart rate going. 15. 10 seconds push. Five. Three. Two. Rest it. You did it. Cardio is done. Grab water. How are we feeling? Like a champ. I knew it. 15 seconds, dead bug. Left side on our backs. Remember to resist against your legs and then extend out just the left side. Three, two, here we go, up, resist and extend. Challenging those abs. You'll feel a difference. If you press on your legs, your abs engage even more. Trying to keep that lower back on the floor. Way to rock it. Way to crush that last cardio. You should still be feeling the effects of it. Heavy breathing, heart rate still up. 23 seconds. Only two exercises after this one. 10 seconds. I think you can guess what one of them is if you're doing the other side. Five, three, two, rest. Woo! Oh no, I'm sorry, we have three exercises. Whoops. <laughs> but the third one's pretty easy. All right, picking up those weights. Other side, deadlift. Coming down, bring that leg forward into that little squat, or big squat maybe. Here we go, we're on. Deadlift. over on the deadlift, straight over, and then chest is up as you squat down. So thank you so much for bearing with me today with my little marathon injuries that are healing still. Next class I should be in tip top shape. 10 seconds, although I'm heading out the door right after this to have gum surgery. Three, two, rest. Why not put some more wear and tear on my body, right? All right, crazy abs here, let's give it a try. Legs are straight out in front of you, hands in front. All we're gonna do is try to lift our legs up. Here we go, try to lift those legs up. You can try it with your hands in back, leaning back if you want to. You can try lifting one leg at a time. Just give it a try. We want abs, rock hard abs like those gymnasts. These are the things we gotta do. In seven seconds, we're gonna do the same thing with our legs open. Two, one, open up our legs, same thing. Good. 
You got it. You can do it, just try it. Remember, you can bring your uh, hands back if you'd like. You can do one leg at a time if you want. This is a total power move. Five, three, two, rest. Oh, nice. Standing up for one more time. One last exercise, both weights. Deadlifts, both feet are down. We're just going to pulse, that's it. All right, we're gonna do one pulse at the bottom and come up. Two, one, let's go. Down, pulse halfway up, and then come all the way up. Down, pulse halfway up. At no point is your back rounding. Your back is staying perfectly flat. You're just hinging forward at the hips. Shoulders are back. A lot of times people think their back is straight, and it is but their shoulders are coming forward. Make sure your shoulders are back, your chest is out. If you have a mirror, use it to make sure that your form is spot on. 25 seconds till we stretch. You got it, Laura. Go for it, Constantinos. Finishing it up, Julie. 15 seconds. You got it, Felix. 10. Last little burst here for our hamstrings. Four, three, two, rest. Set those weights down for the last time. We crushed it. Let's stretch it out. Make sure you stay for the stretch. Just legs spread apart, coming on down, head comes down. And you can stay here or you can walk from side to side, reaching that arm out as you do, getting those hamstrings that we just worked. We made it to the end. How do we feel? Like a rock star? You should. Right leg in front, left leg in back, going into a lunge. You can do this with your knee on the floor if you'd like, or up. Bring your chest up if you can, and bring that left arm across. Reach it. Shoulder is down. Sink low in those hips. Yay. I wasn't sure what to expect with this class. Tough. <laughs> Coming center, just pressing your shoulders right and left to the front. Feeling a great little twist in your back. Feeling those adductors stretching out. We work those on our back, remember? Remembering some of the exercises that we did. Which ones were your favorite? Which ones were the worst? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Maybe share it with a friend. Heading to the lunge with the other side. You can bring your knee down or keep it up. Chest comes up. Right arm across. Sinking down low in those hips. Really stretching out that hip flexor. our booties to the floor. Hands come down, just come on down. Right leg is out, left leg is bent in. Reaching for that foot. This is a great stretch for your hip, your back, your hamstring. One of my favorites. So heading right out for thumb surgery. What does that mean? You're like, what is that? That is where, ready to get a little graphic. They take skin from the roof of your mouth and attach it down to your gums. If you have recessed gums, which I really do, I have too much like root showing on my teeth, so they need to protect it. So they put extra skin from the roof of your mouth, attach it to your gums. <laughs> I've done it before. It's actually not that bad. If someone into downward dog, you can pedal your heels out and get your calves. 
or you can just hold your heels straight down, bringing your hips up to the sky. So no workouts for at least five days for me after this. It's a good, I specifically scheduled it right after the marathon, so I would have a nice little break from workouts, forced break. Go ahead and walk your feet in, stand it on up. Let's get those quads, bring that right leg up. Try to bring your knees together, tuck your booty under, pushing that hip slightly forward, and go ahead and switch legs. Well, you are a winner in my book. You made it to the end. Fantastic. We did it. Tell me what you thought was your favorite exercise today. What was my favorite? I don't know. I always love those a uh, hammer to the push-up. Those are fun, even though they're hard and they get your heart rate up. Anyway, have a good one. I hope you remember me tomorrow when you wake up and you feel a little bit sore. Make sure you hydrate. I will see you for the next workout. Bye, everybody. It. We made it.